Many of us have worried at one point or another what might happen to us on the Day of Judgment. And part of this worry is because we look at the verses of the Qur'an. And the verses of the Qur'an talk about horrific events that will happen on that day. The earth will be quaking and you know the mountains will be smashed into each other. They will turn into pieces and so on and so forth. And a number of other events as well. So this brings fear into the heart of the human being. Many people will take this fear and in some ways either it will paralyze them because they'll be fearful of the day of judgment and they'll feel like whatever they do, it's going to be a scary day. Or, uh, you know, sometimes it will might even distance them from the faith because they'll think, well, what God is this that is telling me whatever I do, I'm going to end up in this situation and it's going to be scary. Why did God even create me then? And the reality is this is not the perspective that the Quran has. The perspective of the, that the Quran has is that the human being should fear that day, but that fear should then mobilize him to do what verse 89 of Surah An-Nam speaks about. So verse 89 of Surah An-Nam says, listen, the fear of that day that it brings into your heart, it's not supposed to paralyze the human being. You're not supposed to sit there and say, well, I'm scared, so then I can't love God because he told me all these terrible things are going to happen. No, the verse says you are supposed to take that fear and utilize it to do good deeds. And if someone does that, man ja'a bil hasanati falahu khayrun minha, whoever does good deeds, he will be granted a reward greater than his deed. Wahum min faza'in yawma idin aminun. And those people, when they come on the day of judgment, after the second time the trumpet is blown into it, everyone is resurrected. Now all the events that we hear about on the day of judgment start to happen. They are protected from the worry and the scariness of that day. So the verse of the Quran is giving us a very clear answer. If you are afraid of that day, if you are fearful of that day, that fear is not supposed to paralyze someone. All that means is, it should push you towards good deeds. And if you move towards good deeds, well then great, wonderful news. You are completely protected from the worry, the pain, the suffering of that day. That is for those whose arrogance, even though they know that day is gonna come, their arrogance stops them from obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if I'm really fearful, what that means is I'm gonna try to do good deeds. You're gonna try to do good deeds, that means immediately this verse of the Quran will apply to you. Man ja'a bil hasanati falahu khayrun minha wa hum min faza'in yawma idhin aminun. If you come to that day with your good deeds, the Quran says not only will you not be negatively impacted, you are even protected from the fear of that day. So the day of judgment will not even make these people worried, it won't even make them concerned. Right? Because the Quran says they are protected from the faza and the jaza of that day. They are protected from the fear of that day. So let us always remember this that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about the fear of that day, that is to bring us to do good deeds. If I'm doing the good deeds, then I should know that inshallah I am protected from the difficulties of that day.